Hey, this is Trey again. Listen, uh, what I'm thinking about today and what I'm focusing on today is the reality that the church is not dead. What do you mean by that? You know, a lot of people think that the church is irrelevant now in this day and age. No longer do we believe that the church matters or makes sense. But the Bible talks about a time when there would be a great falling away from the faith, that people would no longer value the church and, you know, uh, they think that the church would just be virtually useless because there's been some bad examples that exist. But what I really want to encourage the people about today is that there's always going to be bad examples in anything, but it doesn't mean that really represents who the church is. So I want to encourage a few people out today. I want you to know that you are the example that people are looking forward to and counting on. They need you to be different. They need you to be special. They need you to step out there and make a difference because people are killing themselves. People are giving up. People act as though that there's no hope. They believe their only hope is if uh, the politicians pass some type of law. But the reality is our hope is not in this government, nor is our hope in any uh, elected official. But our hope is in the Lord and in God alone. That's why we're encouraged to know that the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. So I want to encourage you today. Get up, get off your feet. Hear me now. Get off your tail and stand and believe and trust God and let your faith matter to somebody. Help somebody. Be the difference in somebody's life today and watch God bless you and open doors that you never thought possible. Awakening is coming to your city. Awakening is coming to your life.